Hello, my name is Tatiana Alvarez, and today I'm going to be doing um, a persuasive a persuasive speech about um, why I don't think we should really enforce dress codes at school, um, especially high schools. Um, so I'm gonna get started on that. So why are schools so worried about the way we dress? Why are girls' bodies a so-called distraction to the learning environment around us? Girls and boys, yeah, it's always mostly girls who are constantly always being judged for what they want to wear. Dress codes can have dress codes can have positive and negative outcomes, yet having a dress code can limit one's identity and freedom of expression to express who they really are. Um, so are these dress codes really a good idea for school? Do these dress codes cause more harm being, being set than the actual harm that would happen if we didn't have any dress codes? Um... Teachers will make students leave classroom for this, um, for not following dress code. Um, is missing one's education worth making students dress a certain way that we are told to be dressed? There are many different reasons why we shouldn't have a dress code. Yes, obviously you can't go to school in your underwear and stuff like that. So people do know their limits, yet um, schools are still trying to tell us what we can and can't wear. Um... We know not to wear stuff that is obviously inappropriate and judging girls' bodies and judging girls when they want to wear shorts and getting them in trouble when it's hot. But it's okay for guys to wear shorts when it's hot. Um, girls' bodies should not be sexualized, especially at school. I'm going to go in depth about three reasons why I believe we shouldn't have a dress code for school um, and try to persuade you guys into agreeing with me on why we shouldn't have these dress codes. Um, the first reason is it's targeting and harming girls' bodies um, and violating our freedom of expression. The second reason is um, how having a dress code will make younger women think that their bodies are to be hidden. And then the third reason is claiming that our bodies are an object and a so-called distraction. So my first point is that girls should not be have should not be feeling targeted because of what we choose to wear and experience and how we choose to express ourselves style is something that everybody loves and style was a big thing nowadays everybody is in it for the fashion everybody wants to follow the trends it's style shouldn't disregard what a girl should be able to work at wear at school um if we if what we want to wear is in style we shouldn't be we shouldn't not be able not to wear it because it's considered dress code um so many times myself i have been judged because i chose to wear a tank top because it's hot and because it's going closer to summer and i've been told to change into a sweater but guys are allowed to wear like the tank tops that are like this and go down and have a cut um but i was told to change um there are many there are many ways girls um just want to dress what they feel and that shouldn't be a problem we should be able to wake up and not think oh my school's not gonna let me wear that um, by telling us what we can wear is controlling and it makes us feel like we have to dress this way all because showing shoulders is inappropriate. Um, study shows that as students grow and develop their identities, they often use clothing as a way to express who they are and what they believe. Um, while a lot of people will argue that school is just trying to prepare us for the real world, it's really not. We know how to dress for certain places. For example, if we're going to church, we know not to wear stuff like we know to dress in church clothes. Um, if we're going to a job interview, we know to dress appropriate. Um, we know what how we have to dress accordingly. And um, when we dress for school, we are dressing accordingly to school. If it's hot, we're going to wear shorts and a tank top. But we're still going to get dress coded for that. But it's okay when guys could wear shorts and a tank top. Um, girls get target way more just because we have certain body types. And it's not okay to, for schools to make girls feel that way, especially coming in from middle school or high school because then we're just taught that we can't show our body without feeling ashamed and embarrassed. Um, the second point is having a dress code will always make girls think that our bodies have to be hidden and I will never understand why girls' shoulders are forbidden in school because it was a big thing at my school that we couldn't so show our shoulders and teachers would tell us like, oh, where's the rest of your shirt? Or like, like what? Like a shirt like this, like we couldn't show our shoulders. Um, and we can't show our shoulders over what guys have shoulders, girls have shoulders, everybody have shoulders. 
um, all because teachers and, and administration think it's a so-called dis distraction. We should not have to cover up what we are born with because it's considered a distraction. And teachers will tell you that, oh, it's distracting. How are my shoulders distracting? Um, instead of encouraging, in, instead of enforcing dress codes, they should force people to stop sexualizing women based off what we choose to wear. Instead of teaching girls that we can't show our legs or shoulders, show boys to stop thinking of girls in that way. Um, a body is a body is a body, and everybody has body parts. If we all come together to realize um, what this is, and it's not okay to make girls feel like. It's not okay to make girls feel like it's bad to show a little skin, but boys can walk around with short without sh with shorts on and show stuff like that without it being a problem. Um, a lot of people feel this way, and there has in fact been protests of to stop judging girls based on what they wear and to not have a dress code and not be so strict. I've seen so many people post on social media about um, being dress coded at school and how it's not fair and how guys come wearing like the similar things, but they don't get dress coded. Uh, my third point is that we have these dress codes because people claim that our bodies are objects and a distraction. Making young girls feel like their bodies are part of a distraction is not okay for society because we will grow up to think that certain clothes are unpleasant because it all started at a young age at school. Um, people need to stop looking at women like objects all because of how they choose to style their clothes. It is time that teachers and faculty need to be aware that a woman's body is not a distraction and can't, and you can't discriminate against girls based on how their bodies are. A lot of girls at my school would get dress coded compared to other girls who bodies look different all because their bodies are different and they would dress code people who they felt like were revealing more when in reality they were wearing a tank top like another girl um teachers like to pick and choose who to dress code and i know that from experience because there would be girls walking around school um looking like shorts tank tops and they wouldn't get dress coded and then there would be other girls walking around and they would get dress coded for wearing shorts and tank tops um Girls can't keep getting blamed for what we want to wear. They make us seem like we're the problem and like we ask for it all because we choose to wear a piece of clothing. Um, so this is, in conclusion, this is really why I think that we shouldn't have um, dress codes. I just don't think it's very appropriate to make women, feel, young girls especially, feel this way about our bodies. And people always say that like, oh, if something happened to a girl they're like oh what was she wearing that it shouldn't matter what we wear we should be able to wear what we want and it not be a problem we should be able to go to school when it's hot and be able to wear shorts just like guys do on tank tops and it not be a problem so why do schools really have dress codes and i really think that either they like fix like that we can show our shoulders when it's hot and like the because at my school i know it's like you have to have your arms up to your legs and that's how short your shorts could have to be when in reality they don't even sell girl shorts that are long as long as their arms are to our legs. So, um, yeah, that's why I think that um, school dress codes aren't um, very good for schools and why we shouldn't really have dress codes. Or they should, like, alter it to make a little bit more sense. Um, but, yeah, thank you.